Good afternoon and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Pia Sol and Excel International Math by Mr. Kamoto and in this video I want us to uh, introduce ourselves to integration by parts and we are doing we are looking at pure mathematics 4 and we are on page 78 we will be looking at this book pure mathematics 4 IAL and we are on page 78 and we are told that um, you can rearrange the product rule for differentiation let us first of all know what the product rule is all about let us remind ourselves about the product rule how does the product rule look like d dx of u v is definitely given by u dv dx plus v du dx and at that point we can easily make any of these the subject of the formula and if you want to make u dv dx is equals to uh, d dx uv of course minus v du dx and at the end of the day if we want to integrate this we can apply the integration at all levels so the integral of u dv dx is the same as the integral of the differential and i want us to look at this uh, the integral of u dv dx is the same as the integral of a differential of uv that is our center of interest the integral of a differential of course the integral of a differential doesn't change anything it, it makes the whole term remain the same as it was originally minus now the integral of v du dx and it goes without saying that the integral of a differential leaves the term the way it was originally so what are we saying that the integral of u dv dx is the same as u v because again the integral of a differential takes you back to the original number or the original term minus the integral of v du dx and this is now what we are calling integration by path um, to use integration by parts you need to write the function you are integrating in the form of u dv dx you will have to choose what to set as u and what to set as dv dx and i want us to directly go to example to example 9 and example 9 is telling us integrate x cos x dx and the integral of this directly is um, is the integral of x cos x dx and at this particular point we have the luxury of choosing what will be our u and what will be our dv dx um, for this reason i may want to explain what if we choose u to be x that means du dx is equals to 1 and if we choose u to be x then cos x is dv dx is equals to cos x and then to get v we must now integrate cos x which is supposed to give us which is supposed to give us the integral of cos x which is sin x we may choose to let u be the cosine of x and then du dx is supposed to be um, the differential of the cosine x and when the cosine of u is the cosine of x then dv dx is supposed to be this x and therefore if this is the case v is supposed to be x squared over 2 the fact that we are going to have 
uh, a denominator here uh, makes the whole thing um, makes the whole thing um, a bit complicated and therefore we may not go this route so we will go with that arrangement at the same time when we have u as the cosine of x then du dx is negative the sine of x and that makes it everything a bit complicated but let's see let's use this and it's going to have this one is going to be the integral is going to be uv minus the integral of v du dx and of course with respect to x so the integral is going to be u which is x v x sine x minus the integral of v uh, du dx which is 1 the integral of this is sine x times 1 dx um, it goes without saying that the general integral becomes x sine x minus the integral of sine x is of course minus cosine uh, cosine x so minus minus cosine of x plus a constant because we are dealing with we are dealing with uh, an integral is not definite so at the end of the day we have uh, the integral is x sine x plus cosine of x plus c and that is just like it if you may wish now to explain example 10 in the same video um, example 10 wish to exact to explain example 10 in the same video we are saying find the integral of x squared ln x dx and i want to say something here anytime you are having uh, a function that is having ln x please be sure to let ln x be u be the u so in this case u is equal is equal to ln x and du dx is 1 over x this is because it is easier to differentiate ln x other than integrating it if we choose it to be if we chose dv dx to be ln x integrating it to get v would be a bit complicated and that is why you are advised to choose ln x to always be the u that means anything else which is dv dx is supposed to be x squared and therefore v means uh, v means now integrating this so that we can have is equal to x cubed over 3 therefore the integral becomes uv uv that is x cubed over 3 ln x minus the integral of v x cubed over 3 um, du dx times 1 over x of course with respect to x and what does this give us this one is already uh, showing to have x cubed over 3 ln x minus the integral of uh, this x cancels with this x squared over 3 dx and our duty is just to integrate this part which is giving us integral is x cubed over 3 ln x minus uh, x power 3 over 3 times 3 which is over 9 because x squared x squared um, over 3 integral is x cubed over 3 but remember there was a denominator 3 here so 3 times 3 is simply 9 so this is plus a c because again it is indefinite integral and that is just like it we have been able to uh, to differentiate or rather we have been able to integrate two examples we will be looking at example 11 example 12 moving forward in the next video and again once again my youtube channel subscribe and
together and uh, share widely so that as many this mother